Um, thank you very much for accepting to do this. We were thrilled to hear about uh, your being candidate, a candidate for the IATFL, um, for IATFL president, and perhaps you'd like to begin by saying a few words about that. Well, thank you very much indeed for interviewing me about that. Um, I've been a member of IATF for years, since 1980 in fact, uh, when I started out as a young teacher. And it's been an association that's been very important for me in my professional life and career. And when it happened last year that um, it was suggested to me that I should um, put myself forward for the post of president, at first I felt some kind of trepidation. But when I really thought about it and reflected, I realized with my years of involvement with IATFL and my mission, the association and its mission, that um, I hope and think that I do have something to contribute. And that is to do with, well, of course, the many years that I've spent in ELT, that is being up at 30 these days, but also with the different roles that I've played in IFL. Would you like uh, to Rachel tell us? The member of the Young Learner Inc. Committee yes. and editor of the newsletter. And so that gave me the experience of working very closely with a group of people who share the same passion in English language as I do. And that's particularly to do with primary language teaching and working with young learners. And then from that I went on to spend three years on the Publications Committee, yes. which gave me a rather different perspective on our chapel's work. And at the moment I'm in my second year on the Conference Committee, which has put me in touch with what, if you like, is the jewel in the crown of what our chapel does and the fantastic annual conference that you know is about to take place in Glasgow now. Yes, indeed. We were very, very happy to hear about your candidacy, and there are all sorts of reasons apart from your um, really important professional presence and your publications. You are a celebrated and, you know, uh, very well-known author, and your books uh, have received uh, uh, I remember um, the uh, Innovation Award, Innovation Awards, and High Commendations uh, by the Duke of Edinburgh Awards. Um, your blog uh, is uh, one of the uh, most important blogs we go to for information about teaching young learners. And uh, also, you are uh, a Twitter user and an occasional ELT chat follower and I think it's also high time we had a lady president which is also great yes that, that, that's great and um, thank you very much for saying that I think actually my chapel does have a good track record of having um, women as president I think Catherine Wolf was the first woman president so she broke the glass ceiling a bit there, yeah. and in recent years we also had um, Tessa Woodward, and most recently Marion, of course. So I think actually ELT in, that has got quite a good track record of um, having women as well as men. Um, but thank you for saying that, yes. Well, would you like to uh, send any special messages to our Twitter uh, friends and particularly to uh, the followers of ELT Chat because well, your interview is going to be published on our ELT Chat blog and everyone is looking forward to hearing you say what your plans are for IATFL and how you see the role of social media integrating um, with the whole framework of the conference and the online presence of ELT professionals today. Right, well, that's, there are lots of, lots of questions in there, and I would like to start, start off by saying is how fantastic I think it is, the energy that goes into ELP chats, and how when I joined the discussions, which must admit is not on that many occasions, I found 
that there is this incredible challenge in just sticking what you want to say into such few, few words. Yeah. And the other thing I feel with this, you know, the energy you see about EFT on Twitter is how wonderful it is to tool for the younger generation coming up. Um, these coming up these days and um, that can plug into you. and it it makes you reflect how how different it was when when I was starting out. In relation to Art Tafel, I think that the reach of social media, the development that are happening at the moment, I have online, the fact that this year at the conference there's going to be a conference app um, oh. is moving in the direction of making a much more inclusive organisation and actually able to reach the parts that um, other organisations often can't oh, yeah. to reach people in countries yeah. that don't necessarily have a national ELT association but nevertheless can they network can create and develop their PLM with no cost for themselves at all and with lovely spirit of um, sharing that, that there is. That's fantastic news, Carol, and uh, everyone will be thrilled to hear that there's going to be a, a special app for following the conference on the iPhones and iPads. <laughs> I think Kata has the bag. Yes. I mean, actually, the development has been happening recently. Really? On yes. Technology. Right. That is a great school. And I look at these because I'm on the conference committee. Yeah. And I know that, you know, Eric and Herbert um, are doing a fa fantastic they amount are, of work. Indeed with uh, making sure that Iotafel is making most of all the opportunities that social media give us today. That is fantastic news and I hope all the Twitter followers will vote for you, those who are members or about to be. To be. Uh, there's going to be a great Twitter crowd up at Iotafel and as you know an ELT chat symposium is uh, also being offered. Absolutely. And yes. so uh, we are hoping to contribute as much as we can as well to the success of the conference and we look forward to you uh, being elected. Thank, thank you very much. That, that, that's very kind of you. And I, I also realize that you're bringing a huge amount to the conference and I look forward very much to being part of that as well and uh, being at that symposium which I think will be extremely interesting to attend. Thank you very, very much for this great interview, Carol. And we all look forward to seeing you at the IATFL in Glasgow soon. It's only about two weeks now okay. till Absolutely. the conference. Two weeks. I very much look forward to seeing you. And you, you must be well. very busy. Thank you very much. Thank you. And we'll very talk fun. in person, face to face. Okay. Goodbye. Thanks a lot, then. Bye-bye.